set, Hollywood's own little piece of Babylon. So you're gonna leave a poor, helpless woman here on her own, and at the will of unscrupulous men? Those men, I think they work for Guy McAfee. Do you know the name? No. Why should I? June Ballard is married to Guy McAfee. Have you heard of her? That slut. She's been badgering my husband for days. Mrs. McAfee alleges that your husband tried to kill her and her friend last night. I think you should tell us what you know. My husband's a movie producer. This has something to do with his new picture. He doesn't include me in his business. June Ballard said she had a deal to be in his new picture. Mark repeatedly told her no. He had Joan Leslie lined up for the role. That's how he got the findings. And June made all kinds of threats. She was very rude to me. You know June Ballard? We were both on the same picture a few years back. That's how I met my husband. <laughs> Your husband was at a casting yesterday with a young girl? Not that I know of. He told me he was looking at locations. The picture's been passed. Can we get on with this, please? Jessica remembered a mermaid. The mermaid on the front of the prop store. You better come clean with me. This is a sick town, detective. Are you sure you really want to know? The truth is... My husband likes young men. And you think that's okay? I was 16 when I first met him. I thought he was a genius, a magician with film. I was 20 before I realized he was just a B-movie hack. But he's nothing compared to some of the monsters at these big studios. My guess is Ballard sacrificed her little friend. Happens to a lot of girls. <laughs> Why is your husband paying Lorna Hopgood $20,000? Lorna? Marlon's ex-wife? Are you sure?
husband looks like he's being blackmailed. They obviously have something on him if he's prepared to kill to cover it up. Why is the payment going to Hopgood and not McAfee? Lorna works at a check cashing place in Hollywood. You need to ask Hopgood why he needs that much money in cash. like we found our mermaid. Who are these men in the picture? My husband, Mark, and Marlon Hopgood. They work together on occasion. That's Hopgood's job. Where can we find your husband, ma'am? He told me he would be on set. That's all I know. Kathy's people do, Mrs. Bishop. If you care for him, you should make sure that we find him first. I do care for him, but I don't really know where he'd go if he were in trouble. Hopgood might know. Your husband is in trouble. It could go easier for him if you were more helpful, Mrs. Bishop. He's a big boy, detective, and so are you. This is Hollywood. There's always a deal to be done. What do you think? We need the place from the picture. The prop maker's store with the mermaid out front. Call it in. Operator, message for KGPL. Phelps, one, two, four, seven. How can I help, detective? I need a location on a silver screen prop store. Just a moment. Silver screen props, corner third and Figueroa. Thank you.
an aging movie star, a wannabe starlet, and even his recent wife. And finally rubbing shoulders with the almost fiction famous. And from the stories they've given us, clearly none of them can act. Bishop knows more than she's letting on. She doesn't seem to realize how much trouble her husband is in. The only... Can we try to get there in one piece? Yeah. You think she'd have gotten the hint after those hatchet men redecorated her apartment? Maybe she's just loyal. Or she's in on it. She didn't seem like your average giddy broad with nothing between her knees. Or she might just be trying to buy enough time for Bishop to put a couple of oceans between him and the captain. Phelps and Bukowski, LAPD. We're investigating the attempted murder of June Ballard and Jessica Hamilton. Christ. I'm Marlon Hopgood. How can I help? You hold castings here? I'd like to hear about that. I spot a little soundstage out back. Lead the way. You coming? So, you coming? Keep him here, Stefan. I'm gonna take a look around. What's this got to do with me? Don't try my patience, knucklehead. I uh, have to call you back. 
I got some business here. Sit down, Courtney. This is Mickey. Mickey, this is Courtney Sheldon. What would you like a drink? Doc. Straight out. But here you're back at school learning to be a doctor, kid. Yeah. That's right, Mr. Cohen. You want to be a doctor and a dope peddler. Interesting combination, huh? Do we have a problem, Mr. Cohen? We might have. Yeah. Selling your dope to my boy Lenny looked like a good move, but Lenny has been supplying uh, wholesale, so to speak. The Bindle boys in this town aren't used to the juice without a little of the middleman taking his cut. Lenny promised that wouldn't happen, Mr. Cohen. And Lenny works for you. What can I say about Lenny? Let me think. Oh, yeah, he's a putt. And he's lazy, and he's greedy, but he's my wife's brother. <laughs> now she can make a cake with those ingredients, huh? <laughs> so how is that my problem, Mr. Cohen? Well, kid, the only way we're going to be able to make this work is to do some repackaging. We need to get the dope out of those dinky little cardboard boxes. Surrettes. Yeah, surrettes. Great. Put it into a big vat so we can water it down a little bit. I won't bore you with the chemistry, but she doesn't work this way. You're likely to kill even more people. Okay, listen. We want to buy you out, kid. I'll offer you 50 grand. Hey. Hey. You don't like my offer? The Sheldon kid? I think I want him dead. off the lights, Hopgood. Why would I want to do that? Humorous. One way mirrors. There's a room on the other side. Huh. Well, well. Find a way into that peep den, Phelps. I'll stay here and keep our perverts company. Can't be that way, Phelps. You couldn't fit a rat through there.
Jungle Drums, 8th and Francisco. Attention, Mark Bishop. What happened to the Philip Hamilton screen set? I wonder if they saw this, how many budding starlets would still get on the bus to come to Hollywood. Doping a 15-year-old kid and abusing her in a screen test. What is wrong with these people? McAfee's men are looking for Bishop. We need to find him first. Any idea where he might have gone to ground? If he really tried to kill McAfee's wife, my advice to him would be to leave town.
You're delivering props to Jungle Drums on 8th Street? Bishop is using that old rundown wreck of a set. That place is dangerous. But it might be a good spot to hide. Do you ever do any work for Mark Bishop? Mainly do work for the studios. RKO, Republic, Warner Brothers. So, yeah. When Bishop is doing work for a studio, yeah. When did you last see him? Yeah, I'm doing work for his next picture. Still pre-production, though. I haven't seen him around here in a while. You're lying, Hopgood. Bishop was here, and you know exactly what he was doing and what he left lying around afterward. You come in here without a warrant, and now you start throwing your weight around? You should get your facts straight before you come in here and start shooting off that mouth of yours. That's all for now, Hopgood. We're taking you in. Roy Earl, advice. Hold on a moment. This is clearly a vice case. You've been roughing up my informant? Hopgood is a vice informer? Yes, he is, Phelps, and a very important... Look at that mug. Have you been upsetting these two officers, Marlon? So we just drop it? You do if you know what's good for you. You need to catch the movie producer before an angry husband does, from what I'm hearing. I'll be making a full report to the captain, Detective. You do that, kid. We're all very impressed with you. Let it slide, Cole. Let's get out of here. Detective. Johnny Goldberg. You work for Mickey C. That's right. Phelps and Bukowski, LAPD. We are investigating the attempted murder of June Ballard and Jessica Hamilton. Christ! I'm Marlon Hopgood. How can I help? You hold castings here? How'd you hear about that? I just had a little soundstage out back. Lead the way. Turn off the lights, Hopgood. Why would I want to do that? Humor it. One wing mirrors. There's a room on the other side. Huh. Well, well. Find a way into that peep tent, Phelps. 
I'll stay here and keep our perverts company. Doping a 15-year-old kid and abusing her in a screen test. What is wrong with these people? What happened to the film of Hamilton's screen test? Jungle Drums, 8th and Francisco. Attention, Mark Bishop. you ever do any work for Mark Bishop? Mainly do work for the studios. RKO, Republic, Warner Brothers. So yeah, when Bishop is doing work for a studio, yeah. When did you last see him? Yeah, I'm doing work for his next picture. Still pre-production though. I haven't seen him around here in a while. You and Bishop are close friends? Colleagues? Business. I normally deal direct with the studio. Have you tried his production office? You could hump a few props or sweep the floors if you got nothing better to do.
Phelps and Bukowski, LAPD. We are investigating the attempted murder of June Ballard and Jessica Hamilton. Christ. Uh, I'm Marlon Hopgood. How can I help? You hold castings here? Let's hear about that. I spot a little soundstage out back. Lead the way. Doping a 15-year-old kid and abusing her in a screen test. What is wrong with these people? Turn off the lights, Hopgood. Why would I want to do that? Humor him. One way mirrors. There's a room on the other side. Huh. Well, well. Find a way into that peep den, Phelps. I'll stay here and keep our pervert company. Well, this is where you sprang from. What happened to the film of Hamilton's screen test? Jungle Drums, 8th and Francisco. Attention, Mark Bishop. Do you ever do any work for Mark Bishop? Mainly do work for the studios. RKO, Republic, Warner Brothers. So yeah, when Bishop is doing work for a studio, yeah. When did you last see him? Yeah, I'm doing work for his next picture. Still pre-production though. I haven't seen him around here in a while. I know you're lying, Hopgood. Bishop was here, and you know exactly what he was doing and what he left lying around afterwards. You come in here without a warrant, and now you start throwing your weight around? Fifteen-year-old girl told me how she was drugged and molested at a casting house. I found the coral hydrate in your drinks cabinet. You give me something or I will break your fucking jaw, Hopgood. Bishop was here with June Ballard and the girl. A, a lot of producers and directors use this place. 
I I'm not responsible for what goes on here. McAfee's men are looking for Bishop. We need to find him first. Any idea where he might have gone to ground? If he really tried to kill McAfee's wife, my advice to him would be to leave town. You're delivering props to Jungle Drums on 8th Street? Bishop is using that old rundown wreck of a set. That place is dangerous. But it might be a good spot to hide. What's the deal with you and June Ballard? Look, buddy, I make props. I hardly ever meet the talent unless it's something tailor-made for them, like a sword or something. You and Ballard are blackmailing Bishop. That's why he cracked. You got nothing on me. My hands are clean on this. Enough. I've been in your peep room, Hopgood. I've seen your smut pictures in the camera setup. You made a movie of Jessica. I found the canister. The deal is I get to sell the movies to burlesque houses and private collectors. These movie guys love seeing their cocks on screen. But part of the arrangement is I never film their faces. June had me film Bishop, and then she kept the movie for insurance. He went apeshit when he realized his face was front and center. Who has the film now? Who else? McCaffrey. Ballard had what she wanted. Where does the money come into it? What money? Enough of the lies. I told you I get my cut selling dirty movies. Your ex was getting 20 large from Bishop. If I wanted to skim 20 from Bishop, we'd do it through the movie budget. June said she'd sell him the film once the movie had wrapped, but Guy wanted cash. He's in a cash-only business. You think I had a choice in this? That's all for now, Hopgood. We're taking you in. Phil. Roy Earl, advice. Hold on a moment. This is clearly a vice case. You have been roughing up my informant? Hopgood is a vice informer? Yes, he is, Phelps, and a very important one. Look at that mug. Have you been upsetting these two officers, Marlin? So we just drop it? You do if you know what's good for you. You need to catch the movie producer before an angry husband does, from what I'm hearing. I'll be making a full report to the captain, Detective. You do that, kid. We're all very impressed with you. Let it slide, Cole.
Let's get at it. Detectives, Johnny Goldberg, you work for Mickey C. That's right, detectives. You wouldn't happen to know the guys who roughed up Mrs. Bishop earlier today by any chance? No, no, not us. We don't do that kind of thing. It's the husband we'd like to know. This is a police matter. You don't want to be taken in for obstruction of justice, do you boys? You could try the obstruction rap, but uh, it won't stick. We could be done. You've had your 10 cents worth, gentlemen. Bishop knows how the world works. Mrs. McAfee hits him up for a movie part. Happens every day. Bishop takes it a step too far and tries to rub out Mrs. McAfee. Naturally, guy is going to get upset. What made you think Bishop would be here? We figure he might be planning a little accident for Hopgood, too. Those two guys have got some unfinished business. You let us know if you find Bishop. Guy McAfee can be a very generous man. I'm only going to warn you once, gentlemen. Stay out of this. This is a police matter. We will be bringing Mark Bishop into custody. <laughs> At least he's polite. Kind of dumb, but polite. But I'm a lot less polite than smug son of a bitch. So let me put it in ruder terms that even a pair of blockheads like you might understand. The only reason that you don't have bars on your windows already is because you're small fry. And we don't waste our time on small fry. You stay away from Bishop, and you stay away from me. Is that clear enough for you? Now run along back to your boss so we can pat you on the head and tell you what good boys you are. Let's see him chase us now. On to the movie set, Phelps. Let's roll. KTI Radio, a service of the American oh, Century. Oh, Christ. And they say working traffic is like watching paint dry. You know how to piss people off, Bukowski. Hey, if they're prepared to gun down cops in broad daylight, McAfee really means business. Seems like we're the only ones who want Bishop alive. I have a good mind just to let him go work on the son of a bitch. I'm about done putting my life on the line to protect some child molester. That's our job, unfortunately. They don't get to dole out the justice. There's the slippery bastard now. No. God damn it! Mark Bishop, stop! LAPD! Get him, Phelps. I'll cover the exit.
Bishop, you're under arrest for the attempted murder of June Ballard and the rape and attempted murder of Jessica Hamilton. All right, I'll come quietly. Just don't kill me. If you found me, then McAfee's goons will too. Oh, we need we need to get out of here. All right, but you stay close. Any tricks, and I'll save McAfee's boys the trouble. Follow me. I know another way out of this place. They're trying to kill me! Last chance to back the hell down! There's no way out of here. I thought you said you knew where you were going. Yeah. We have to jump for it. You have to get me out of here.
This is what I call a result. Mark Bishop, erstwhile film producer, an all-around piece of shit, catches a fast ticket to Quentin for statue rape and attempted murder. So he gets to spend the next 15 years playing sissy instead of sticking with the little girls. That is justice with a capital J, Harry Phelps. Phelps, such a reputation, I'm not going to be able to hold on to you any longer. You're getting promoted. Go on, get your new assignment. Good working with you, son. Bukowski, this your work? Can I help you, detective? Sorry, Cap. Didn't see you there. Yeah, I'll bet you did. This is a traffic case. You need something? I'm here to buy a drink for the two LAPD traffic cops who broke the back of Guy McAfee's private army. You don't have a problem with that, do you, Captain? Go right ahead. Get in. I'm buying. Jazz Cole, the hopheads love it. Sure, I guess. Big bands and swing, I can understand, but this bebop palaver? How are you supposed to dance to that? This is Phelps, Leroy. Be nice to him. You'll like this place. They treat you right. Like a table read. What do you think we want to do? Stand at the bar like I'll chumps? Get a table ready for you. No one's so happy to see me, Alphonse. I might get the wrong impression. Cole, this is Alphonse. He's a French Negro from Africa. Can you beat that? The Congo. A pleasure to meet you, Alphonse. Is Elsa singing tonight? Yes, she is. She has the next set. Come on, Cole. You can meet Elsa while they're fixing us a table. You'll like her. She's something else. Maybe another night, Roy. She should be beat up around. Get your hands off me. Don't ever tell me what to do or what not to do, Alphonse. You got a nice club here. Don't spoil it. You will follow me, detective. Just through the door. He was my only real friend, Harley. We went through it all. You realize what he meant to me? Oh, 
Besides, you I'm have no idea. You said it was construction work. It was an industrial accident, Elsa. How can I be held responsible? Elsa, are you going on? Louis Rogard, thank you, was my best friend. The only man who ever loved me without putting his hands on me. Hi, Elsa. Here's someone I'd like you to meet. Cole Phelps, war hero and crime fighter extraordinaire. And why would I want to meet another fascist on the LAPD? Sorry about this, Cole. What an evening I'm having. First a Negro puts his hands on me, and then this. <coughs> Who do you think you're talking to, you German junkie whore? Don't you ever forget your place with me again. Do you hear me? Evening, Doc. How's business? Sanguine. Louis, help me here. I'm gonna have to give her something before her performance. Blow it off, Cole. These artsy-fartsy types always get a little flighty. Meet Dr. Harlan Fontaine, doctor to the stars. Mr. Fix-It to the mental wreckage of Hollywood. So what about that drink, boys? All right, gentlemen, take your seats. Let's get this over before lunch. Clyde Rose of the Homicide Squad has decided to take early retirement. We will all miss Floyd and the steely edge he brought to his police work. The department has arranged a wee drink at the Galway Arms to quench the mighty thirst of a man guest in 25 years of police work. Floyd's departure leaves a place at the top table and the chief has seen fit to promote Cole Phelps from burglary to the homicide desk. Stand up, Phelps. Take a chair. You're in the major leagues now, son. Rusty Galloway, a fine lawman of the old school, will be taking you under his wing. Your first case is the murder of a woman, found last night and bearing all the signs of the werewolf. Get out to the scene, lads. Total waste of makeup. I'm thinking of moving up to a 45. I want to stop him with the one. Do you have the okay, address? Girls, he's going it's been cigarette. all over KGPL. It's off Temple Street between Belmont and Glendale. This is Chief Hazel McCoy at the Union Club. Nice day for it. I just wish you'd hurry up and propose already. About the woman who stabbed her husband and then kicked him in front of the car? I'd rather you took the lead. You're behind the wheel. And it's the only way I can stop you from What happened to Rose? Parker wants a chief's job. Word is it's either going to be him or Thad Green. So they're both clearing the deck. So where does that leave you, Galloway? Leave me saddled with a chump like you, Phil. I didn't ask for you, and I don't want you, so keep it to yourself. See if you can learn something about seeing how a real cop operates. What did he mean by the werewolf? Medallion. The Daily News came out calling him the werewolf killer. The examiner came up with the black dahlia. Are we any closer to catching him? Not a chance. Six months and hundreds of guys running down leads, and we got nothing. I don't think this has anything to do with it. 
No, I don't. Ninety percent of murders are domestic, you know. Some guy gets into a beef with his wife, he takes it too far. It'll be the same. But cutting someone in half and leaving them off the sidewalk, go on. There's so many women this year. Because of the war. You should know that. Guy gets to kill people every day in combat. Comes home, he's expected to take lift from his wife. What do you think's gonna happen? It's that simple. Like I said, most of the time it is. Roman, this your beat? Yes, sir. Well, pardon me. Kids park here. They use it like a lover's lane. It's a working neighborhood. Some trouble, but nothing like this. It's uh, known locally as the Moors. You were first on the scene? Yes, detective. No one's disturbed the body? No, sir. We cleared out them vulture reporters so Pinker and the coroner could work. They're waiting to talk to you. Go house to house and see what you come up with. brand new. Can't be the one used on the body. Looks like some kind of puzzle or parlor game. Bomba Club, why steal a table lighter? What can you tell me about the shoe prints? Men's size eight. Pinker lifted impressions for me to compare back at the lab.
cause of death? It could be the head injuries. She has been badly stomped. The cuts look superficial. I'll, I'll know for sure in an hour. What caused the blunt force injury to the face? Could be anything from a baseball bat to a lug wrench. I'll have more details after the autopsy. Interesting. What about this wound on the finger? Something removed. A ring, most likely. I assume it was taken post-mortem. the writing on the victim mean? BD, Black Dahlia, X, your guess is as good as mine. Could be something to it, or it could be the killers trying to throw you off the scent. Either way, I'll run tests on the lipstick. Any idea of the time of death? From the temperature, I'd say after midnight. I'll confirm with you later. When we get to the bomba, a man could die of thirst on a case like this. My money? Copycat. We can't rule it out. We need to work the evidence. <laughs> You'd love that, wouldn't you? Big head to hang on your wall. All of a decade. You've been working evidence on BD case for six months and got next. There's a difference, Rusty. Oh, yeah? I just started working it today. Okay, odd shot. What's more likely? The werewolf comes back around, leaving us in the courts? He clearly has a thing for power. Power over women. Why not power over the police department as well? Finish though. A guy opens his mouth again after six months of stooping. For some opportunist who's been reading about the BD figures, he'll rip off the ammo and get himself a freebie. That's not totally fantastic. Well, the examiner of the Daily News might be good at coming up with monikers that are terrible for the police. There's a reason we didn't get the son of a bitch after the short murder was then. Watch where you're driving, you maniac!
Up ahead, you make a right. At least if you put the siren on, it'll let people know what's happening before you hit them. from the newspaper.